Want to make this the easiest family dinner you've ever hosted? Well now, with Easy Bins, it is. Easy Bins is a convenient and easy way for you to get all of your groceries delivered straight to your door. They've got this recipe and hundreds more on their website. And use the code GRIFFITH5 at checkout in order to get $5 off your next Easy Bins order. What's happening out there? Shall I describe it to you? Or would you like me to find you a box? <laughs> we're back! Mitchell Griffith here with Griffith Goods and Spirits, and today we're doing one of the greatest trilogies of all time. And it includes one of my favorite characters. <laughs> Not the man! That's right, we're doing Lord of the Onion Rings and the Eye of Sauron today. Small chance of success. What are we waiting for? As we always do, let's start with the cocktail. Today, we're gonna do the Eye of Sauron. We're gonna start off with a handful of ice going in your shaker. And then we're gonna do one ounce of Pinnacle Cupcake Vodka. One ounce of Fireball, cause you know, gotta burn a little bit. Half an ounce of Rum Chata. And then you're gonna go ahead and lock this in your shaker tin and give it a good shake. You're gonna unlock that. And the fun thing about this is now you gotta go find somebody to give it to. One and two shots. Now we're just gonna go ahead and garnish this with a little bit of cherry grenadine. It's gonna sink straight to the bottom. And now you've got your Eye of Sauron shot which also tastes like cherry cheesecake. That still only counts as one. We've got our Eye of Sauron shot done, and now it's time to start on the onion rings. We've cut all of our onions about a quarter inch thick, varying in thickness in some of those. Now we're gonna do half of a cup of cornstarch, one cup of flour, Join me as I make a mess. And then we're gonna do a half teaspoon of garlic powder, mustard powder, and a little bit of paprika. And then we're just gonna stir all this together with a little whisk and start our breading station. We've got all that whisk together. And what I meant to say is actually chili powder. Now, what we're gonna do is add a few pinches of salt to this and some fresh cracked pepper. Then what we're gonna do is we've got some ice cold sparkling water here. We're just gonna slowly add this one cup as you whisk this together until it turns into a nice, thick, but runny batter. After a good amount of whisking, we've got our wet batter done. You know, let's drop that in, make sure that your onion ring is coated very well, and then you'll move it over to your dry batter. We've got a cup of panko bread in here. We're just gonna move it around, make sure that this full thing's covered. And then you'll move it to a metal wire resting tray. You may have found out, just like I did, making onion rings, not as easy as the thing. But what I did is I added a little bit of flour to our panko bread breadcrumbs, and that seemed to help them out just a little bit. I gotta jump the dish, I have to touch me. I'm gonna take these, this oil is at 350 degrees and just slowly drop these in here to let them cook up a little bit. And you'll just remove these from the oil whenever they're golden brown. We've got our tower of onion rings done. We've got our fry sauce, barbecue, and ketchup, and our eye of Sauron ready. Now it's time to find a friend and get some rings that are worth fighting for. There's plenty for the both of us. May the best dwarf win. <laughs> How many did you eat? Four. Uh, okay. We've got our Eye of Sauron shot done. 